Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and you're looking at a daily chart of the S&P on top. In the middle is the Transportation Index, and the bottom chart is the Dow Jones Industrial. And what this is the daily price action. So you could see here for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, almost six weeks, we've pretty much just gone sideways, up, down, up, down, just back and forth and the other day I was looking at support coming in around 1080 and it looks like we came in just a little bit above that which was really probably the right price um, support um, actually resistance previous resistance was up here and once resistance gets broken usually turns into support so you can see here there was initial resistance broke above it it came back but that line still becomes still becomes valid or still becomes uh, many times comes into play just we could say it that way uh, support here 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 and here now this this spot right in here comes from way back it's the same line from March 6th from the low and this blue line is from the uh, let's see from a previous break around the last week of January I think I wrote a blog on January 30th and was anticipating a break of this blue line and it came about a few weeks afterwards and I'll show you that I was expecting um, a break of that blue line which was initially support and then it's turned into resistance but quite a different form of resistance let's take a look at it as I continue to go back okay so this is where we were um, initially we were this was around January 30th or so and during that time it was um, actually I do have it up on my blog too as one of the sample audio blogs and uh, this was what I was looking at this did break way and it, we went from oh let's see I think it was around let's see the 825 area all the way down to 666 in the next three weeks from there that was the low and we bounced up uh, since that bounce, once we got past here, the market was more than likely on its way back up to a 50% retracement, which represents this gray line right here. This gold line represents a 62%. Just a n standard, normal retracement back, uh, natural rhythm within the market. You can see the transportation index actually hit it up here. It hit it, it's hit on the high side. It's the same as the downward pressure from the very top. It resistance, 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 current resistance. And that resistance happens to be at 50%. It's a natural retracement from this big whole move from the top to the bottom back to the middle. So that's what I've been talking about when you hear me talking on my blog um, a lot about that. And same thing with the Dow this was the high resistance resistance and then extend that out turns into current current resistance which is exactly right there and this gray line here represents a the 50 percent retracement mark from the whole move again on the Dow the low support 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 and you can see that's where we're at and then resistance so many times across the top very similar to what's called a rising wedge although it's not really apparent in the Dow maybe a little more so in the S&P uh, you can see actually even in the transportation index is a fairly good example of it you could see a rising wedge the tops are getting cut off the bottoms are rising faster and we're gonna have a breakout in one direction or another a lot of times a rising wedge in an uptrend represents the potential for a downward spike once the bottom trend line and support breaks away. So that's just a little lesson there on technical analysis and where we happen to be standing currently in the overall scheme of things. And you can see the resistance right overhead here along with this overhead resistance followed by support right here and we are getting squeezed like nobody's business. <laughs> And so something is going to give. We only have so much room to go before something gives. But that's it. Vince from Sniper Day Trading.